Hello and welcome to Scardcast. Today is day one of all the Dark Eldar goodies. So let's dive right in. So the Warhammer community page has their first preview, Assembling the Raiding Party. Essentially, it states that Dark Eldar don't fight conventionally. And one of the special rules for Dark Eldar Army is called Raiding Force, which means if your Battleforged Army includes at least three patrol detachments, you receive four command points. If your army includes at least six or more patrol detachments, you receive eight command points. Now, this means that instead of having a Battleforged Army or a brigade or a battalion, you're running a bunch of different forces with a homunculus, a succubus, an archon, a whole bunch of different HQs, all kind of having their little uh, units going over and doing, uh, doing some work in a raiding party. That's exactly how I play the Dark Eldar. I love mixing things around and having a homunculus, a succubus, and an archon. So this applies to me as a Dark Eldar player. Now, it also says that having one warlord is pretty cool, but having three is even better. So they have an Alliance of Agony, which means if your Warlord is an Archon, Archon Scari in my case, I can choose up to one Homunculus and one Succubus. So if I have an Archon, a Homunculus, and a Succubus, I can generate a Warlord trait for every single character. Now my Archon is still the Warlord for Warlord Kill, but it means that the Homunculus and the Succubus can get some cool stuff, and that's only one command point. I am super stoked about what the new Drukhari army will bring. Let me know down below what you think is really exciting about the new Drukhari. And also check the latest battle report, which is Black Templars versus the new Necrons. After all, I am Skari, your grateful host, signing off until next time. Skari out.